Hello guys, Toxic Plush Warp here, and today we have a package, and you know I haven't unboxed in a while, like it's literally been a year since my last upload, and I promise I'm working on my animation right now, but you know, that takes a long time. Now I have exams right now, so anyways, let's just get into it. These will be my new figures that I'll use for animation, so let's open them up. Okay, so here's my attempt to open it live. Anyways. Okay, after a bit, here's what we have. We have some bubble wrap, some glorious bubble wrap. Let's see what we got here. We got that one, not two, not three, but four separate figures. I got from this person. That's a nice padding. That, like, that's premium packing. And yeah, let's review them all. All right, now that you can see that we're back at ground level, I have four separate figures here. And they're all pretty packaged, and I got a pretty good deal for them. Um, I probably won't link the seller, but... Seller, if you're out there, you're awesome. I'll probably give you a good eBay review if that's something that you want. So yeah, let's unbox all these. Oh, look at all this bubble wrap. Okay, after that frustrating sequence, here are all the figures in all of their glory. Except that girl, I don't really like that girl on the show, but yeah, they're figures nonetheless. And I collect figures, I'm a collector, so might as well get the full set. So the order we'll be reviewing these characters is in order of likability, and I know that goes against the themes of this show, you know, the whole like, popularity doesn't define you, you can break into your own person, but yada yada yada. I don't really care, so we're going in order of ones that I like the best. So anyways, let's start with Hachiman. Anyways, here we have Hachiman, aka the main character of this show, but I apologize first for the background, like, I don't really have an aesthetic looking background, like, Go in the comments and tell me which color background you want. Um, I'll do that if I have time, but... Here we have Hachiman, and the box is pretty standard. I believe this is a character that just did come out, like he just released, so... Now, if I was a premium collector, like someone who never touches the box and always wants to keep it mint, then I would not tear this tape off the way I am about to now, but... Oh, that was actually kind of smooth, but yeah, collectors wouldn't like that. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. There we have it. So here's a live Pokemon man out in the wild. Ooh, that, that is a lot of pieces, but this is the main figure and handcrafted, Japanese exclusive, wowie. So here's the figure with all its pieces, and as you could notice, for an Nendoroid, he doesn't have a lot of pieces. But is, if you watch the show, then you know he doesn't really have like a specific, I don't know, I guess, signature item. So uh, at least this coffee can, at least. I could have added like the coffee logo on here because we all know it's like dark coffee that he drinks, but it's fine. Anyways, for his expressions, he has this sarcastic, like witty look to him, and it's pretty like depressed, like low demeanor look. And I guess this is just like his average face, like the average face you make, whatever. Like he's pretty relatable, so yep. So here we have Hachiman posed, and as you could probably notice, he is levitating a bit from the ground, and that is because of this widget here. So if you're gonna complain about anything about Good Smile, it's that sometimes their hole sizes are inconsistent. See, like he just fell off. And I don't know how to reattach this sometimes. That's an issue that I have with a few of my own Nendoroids, but it kind of varies from person to person. So it's not specific for this character, but it's something I wanted to point out. Also this arm. Like I didn't know what this arm was for at first. Let's see if you can focus on that. See how he has no arm? I guess it's supposed to be in his pocket, but Besides those complaints, I do think they did translate the character well enough. Also, you do get these like own stylized backgrounds for each character, so we'll see those colors and I guess I could have a background now. So do you guys like the gray? Do you not like the gray? Comment below. Time for the arbitrary rating scale. I give this guy a light 8. 
Here that guy's a light 8. Could be better, but they translate the character well and all the details are still there. Pretty good, good smile. Pretty nice. That brings us to our second most likable character, and that goes to da -da 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 -dun, Yukinon. Even though she's not that great in the grand scheme of things. Also, for these next three figures, they're all used, so they do not have any tape to peel back, unfortunately. But I know it might be a bit cliche to say that my top two characters are the two main characters, like this is the love interest, but it's just a spot of good writing, I guess. Okay, so here is Yukinon, the character with many personality quirks. Pretty much the same character as Hachiman, just a girl version. And the way they do talk is very intellectual. And very IQ, like you have to have a very high IQ to understand what they're talking about because they just speak in metaphors all the time and sometimes you don't know what they're talking about. But anyways, let's get the one box in All right, so I'm gonna take another minute here just to appreciate the seller. Like, the seller probably packaged this themselves because these are used figures, like I said. And yeah, it looks pretty, this looks amazing, actually. Like, you can't even tell these are used. Okay, so here is Yukinon and all her pieces, and you can already tell she's way more expressive than Hanjiman. Like, all three of these face plates are all separate emotions where you couldn't really distinguish Hajimans. And then you have the iconic accessories, like you have this handbag, which is like the most iconic thing in anime fiction, like don't fight me on that. And then you also have the stuffy, which is also a pretty big part of her character. And then, this is a complaint I have, is these cat ears. Um, why are they here? I don't know if she cosplays as a cat at all in the show. Maybe she does, but there's this trend with like all these cat ears in Nendoroids, but I guess I'm not complaining, but they're not very necessary. And then of course you have this book, which Hachiman is also into. So yeah. Okay, so here we have Yukinon in her pretty bright blue background, which I actually really do like this background, and I already do see improvements from Hachiman. For starters, I really like this arm cross pose, and the way that it's made is like pretty inventive. You see that this is its own separate piece. Like you see her arm on that side, and then the other is her crossing it. And yeah, that's a pretty like fun and inventive piece I've never really seen in an Enderoid. And it does fit her personality well, like... Crossing her arms is something she'd do, like... Come on! I'm also very happy with the way that her witch and rig are set up. Notice how she has like this long hair, and like, that's something I've complained forever for Enderoids, is that the girls with long hair, they get in the way of the witch and you can't really pose them. But the way that it's designed here, you can see that it starts from the bottom and just goes right in through there and the whole size is perfect too like this is amazing overall i'm very happy with this figure the connectivity on everything is insane like these arms even the back widget here it won't fall off easily the paint job is easily very great too the values and different shading of black something i very much enjoy as for her rating and i know this might be controversial for all the hachiman fans out there I'm tempted to give her a light 10. This is like one of the best Nendoroids I've ever had. And yeah, I'm surprised she beat Hachiman. Anyways, moving on to the next one. All right, time to see who escapes being the least likable person in the show. And you probably already know who that is. Yui. Spoiler alert, the last girl is Iroha, and I don't really like her in the show, but Yui is kind of just fine. She screams Yahalo a lot. Yeah. Probably play a clip of that, but here we have it. So here is Yui, and probably arguably like the most expressive person in this show. So you'd expect a lot of expressions, but firstly, there's a lot of pieces that weren't connected, and that's understandable because this is used, but again, pretty packaged pretty well. Here are the various pieces, and the first thing I have to point out is why are there dog ears here? Why is there animal stuff in this package? Like, this doesn't happen in the show, this doesn't happen at all, like, stop it with the animals. Other than that, you have the second most iconic piece in anime fiction, this orange backpack. Like, this is the most iconic piece, other than Yukinon's handbag. But we also have a pretty unique piece, which is this foot. 
which I've never seen as an individual piece before, but I guess she can like stop, I guess, because it's one of her personality quirks, stopping a lot. Here we have Yui in her pink background, and I gotta say that I don't think pink is her color. Like, when you see this character, you don't think of pink. You think of like red or something. Other than this, I don't think there's really too much to say that we haven't already said about Yukino, and I mean, the back here is pretty strong. Like, I'm surprised how strong these backs are because my Love is War figures, they're terrible. Like, in terms of stability. Like, they fall over all the time. But this is a very big step up. I guess what I could show off with this figure is the live stability of their heads. So, let me do that. See how stable that is? So versatile. And it stays put. Like, look at that. Oh. Well, their, their arms are kind of... Okay, sorry, but their arms... Okay, well after that mishap, there's one last thing I'd like to mention, and it's the inclusion of this piece, which is pretty brilliant. It's just another widget that attaches to the bottom of the backpack, so then you could have the backpack suspended where the widget would normally be in the hole here. Which is a pretty inventive um, piece, pretty much like Yukinon's piece, and I pretty much like this piece more a bit, actually. Overall, I really did enjoy this figure, and like all the others, I think it captures her personality pretty well. But just like the anime, she's gonna have to become second place because she lost in that. So I give her a 9 out of 10, just behind Yukinon. In conclusion, her mom is better. Finally, you've got last, and certainly least, Yushiki. And you're all probably wondering, why don't you like this character that much? Well, I'll tell you. It's because she's the generic anime trope. Oh, I just broke the box. The generic anime trope of just the funny character, you know what I'm talking about? The character that's just there to be funny. She doesn't really have an impact that much on the plot. I mean, she's in the plot. She's one of the main characters, but she's mainly, mainly there for comedy, and yeah, she's just not funny. And just to give you all a fair warning, I will almost certainly let my dislike for this character get in the way of her rating. So yeah, you'll see that when you see that, but... The art isn't that bad, like the figure looks kind of nice from here, but we'll get to that now. So here are all of Ishiki's pieces and I'm just gonna get this out of the way, none of these are iconic for me. I mean, as much as I love this water bottle piece that could probably be put onto any Nendoroid, like it's just that, it could be put onto anyone. Like this is an exclusive to Ishiki, like the handbags from earlier, and even this handbag isn't that iconic, like it's just blue. But other than that, I guess the faces are alright. Like, these are the faces she'd make, which is what I kind of hate, because I hate that one annoying joke she always makes to Hachiman. <laughs> yeah, that one. So anyways, yeah. Good variety of pieces, I'll say. Unbiasedly. So here she is in her orange background, and what I hate about that is that orange is my favorite color, so she's kind of ruined that for me too. And besides that, there is one minor negative, and... That's this piece, like it's pretty weak. See, that kind of just came off. And it's kind of difficult to reattach stuff. Like even this garbage bag is difficult to attach. So yeah, that's already a minor negative for this figure. But other than that, the poses are all right. Like they, they're in character. It's just that the character isn't very good. And like all these figures, the connectivity and everything else is kind of just amazing. The stability, like, these figures are kind of like blowing out of the water. These are better than I thought they were. And there is one more kind of major positive about this figure. And it's the fact that it comes with no animal ears. Yeah, let's go. Finally, a female character that doesn't have any animal ears that are unnecessarily put in there. I mean, that's a major pro in my eyes, I guess. All right, it's rating time. And it pains me to say this given what I've already said about her character. But I think this figure is actually pretty great because there's a lot of additional pieces like the pieces carry this figure in my eyes and the head connectivity like the movability is kind of just all right that i found it's because her hair is in the way of this widget but in the end i give this figure an 8.5 the same as hachiman which is something i never thought was possible because of the two characters like it's my favorite and least favorite character like pretty much in a dilemma here Okay, so yeah, that's my review on the teen romantic comedy Nendoroid set, and I have to say that all these figures were really fantastic. These are probably the best bunch of figures I've reviewed before. 
And I'd like to give one last shout out to this Norman Nendoroid box, which is from the Promised Neverland. And it was my stand for my tripod today. So yeah, that was a big help. And yeah, it's pretty much as useful as this figure will ever be. So anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I'm in the process of making a stop motion right now that should be out very soon. Again, stop motion takes a very, very long time. And I'll probably use these figures for some stop motion too. That's kind of what my channel is centered around now. If you guys want to see these guys and videos, put it in the comments down below. Anyways, this is Toxic Plush Warp out.